Hello and welcome to this zoology mod thing. I do have to pronounce Gouda, but Gouda mentions sounds funnier the American pronunciation of Gouda. Uh, so I've got various different cows. Gouda. Clotty Cream. Rumi Nant Witch. I like that one. Adamench. Is that it? Is that all I thought of? No. Uh, I thought I had another one. Oh no, there is another one actually. Yeah, this is my survival world, but I'm not really going to be doing this in survival. Uh, I should have one more. You can see that you get these stats on it. So I've got a few... Uh... Oh, I thought I did do another one actually. Maybe I didn't put it on actually now I think about it. Let me just do the last one that I thought of. It's not that easy to think of, you just have to go do the Wikipedia article and try and uh, I mean lump is not really uh, uh I'm trying to think of what yeah. I guess I'll just go for that. I could have sworn I'd, I'd, I'd put one over here though on this. Is there no heifer lump here already? I was sure I did it enough. I need to just break one of these. Oh, I didn't finish building the fence there, that's not a good idea. Okay. Okay, so we can take a look at some of those. There's other mench. Oh, we've got. I think I do have two heavy lumps actually. Clotty cream. We'll see. So I think, right, so the basic potion, I think, is just a cloning potion, isn't it? So let's see what happens if we do with a cloning potion. So let's get some wheat. Obviously, I would imagine we need to do that. So we're just... I'm trying to think if there's any way to get other mench just to clone itself. Let's see if we can get another other mench. So basically, it's it's ready for breeding now. So we just breed it with say. Honestly, I'd probably want to put Rumi Nantwich with Gaudamench. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I think. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks like a good idea. So these these are all quite big cows. So I imagine, uh, yeah, so if I just breed these two normally, maybe, just to start with. Rooming out which was Gallimage. The size is, yeah, you see, because this one was 123% on the size. This is 115%, that's 112. These are all big cows, Gallimage. Uh, Clotty Cream and Rumi Natwich. These are the big guys. Yeah. Okay, just trying to remember them. That's good that they're actually all named. I guess they're, they're the only ones I could click on when I was doing the name tags on. Alright, so so Adamage and Gauda are going to have to go on a different pathway. Is that really a, a full grown cow? I think this actually is full grown. Fully grown time, yeah. But obviously this is the... <laughs> you see, it still says the size of the cow, right? Yeah. 
Interesting. Uh, I'm curious what kind of corruption I can get on this. What? That's pretty odd. Maybe it doesn't work. That's a pretty little cow. Mm. Mm. Let me just see this. Yeah, it's difficult to really know what I'm looking for here. It's fucking fast this one though. Moving speed, minus 3.3%. Mm. Yeah, it moves not that fast. Drop modifier mm. seems high on the leather. Mm. I mean, I could just put our dimension here, just try and make the biggest one. Mm. Problem is that cooldown is probably really high now. Reading cooldown mm. three minutes. Mm. Reading cooldown three minutes. Mm. Let me just try the autogamy. I think that maybe will make another one. Somebody gives it to me as well, it's a bit odd. Let me just try and. I'll just breed that with, with other mensch. Fuck it. I'm pretty sure other mensch hasn't bred yet. No, maybe other bench has bread. Oh, I guess we'll do this one then. No, oh, I think I did it. So this one is is big and fast, Gudamensch. I think Gudamensch is the biggest. I think I actually managed to clone Gouda Mensch. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure about Gouda actually. Guess Gudamensch. Did I manage to clone Gudamensch? That's the question. Possibly not. I wish I could see the name tags at all times, but maybe it's a lot easier. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Gudamensch here. Is there one on the other side? I think maybe I didn't do it. There's a Gouda. There's an other Mensch. Maybe it's to do with the first one that you click is the one that actually. Um, the one that actually breeds. I don't know. I think you need to do something like that, you actually throw the potion one there when they're actually breeding. Well that's certainly averaged out the size. At least there's actually one thing no. It's actually lost the max health though. Mm. 
I want to breed these two again though, definitely. Yeah, I mean these have both got pretty good stats. Um, so I'd probably want to get. Uh, I want to try and probably try and get a raw beef and modifier for them here later on. Movement speed. All right, so say I want to get a Rumi Nam. We'll, we'll, we'll say the Rumi Nam, which we just we just forget about Rumi Nam, which. I mean, it's got better. It's got better drops rate. But I don't really care. We want to get the movement speed up, right? So this guy looks like he's got pretty nice movement speed. No, he doesn't know. Movement speed. I haven't actually got that many good movement speeds in here. It's because originally these are all from the same source, I guess. So Heffalump does have decent movement speed. Like I've actually chosen some pretty pretty good made choices for name tag. So probably want to get Ruminant and uh, Ruminant Witch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it's based on, as you might be able to tell. Ruminant Witch and Heffalump to breed. So let's get Ruminant Witch and Heffalump to breeding. Okay, so there's Heffalump. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll just put yeah, come on through. No, you wait there. Uh, oh no, actually I don't want you there. Wait, Ruin Out Witch is there. I don't want Gowder there though. I would like to get Heffalon if I can. So it might just be able to just... Oh, damn it Heffalon! I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it's no. No. Who's there now? I just want to get fucking Heffalump over here. So what I could do is just separate the fencing. This is more just a a way just to see like uh, you know because obviously you're right. The thing is right. I've probably done it incorrectly already because I probably wanted to start off with all these cows come from the same source anyway um, and, and I actually installed the mod after I bred them all so I don't know I don't know maybe not but anyway uh, right so we'll leave we'll leave other mensch there and we want. Uh, where the fuck did Heffalump go? Did I just kill Heffalump? Is this Heffalump here? Come on. Ruin that witch. Heffalump. Oh, Alright, sweet. Okay, that's cool. Heffalump looks fucking massive, though. No, Gudamench is still bigger than Heffalump. Sorry, um, Ruin that witch looks massive. Okay. Okay, the question is, I don't really understand how... Like, if I, if I, what, do I throw the... Maybe if I throw, say I want to get... I want to prioritise the, the uh, speed of Heffalump, right? So if I say, if I want to, if I want to prioritize the speed of Heffalump and I want to impose it, then what I could do perhaps is I could, I could set Heffalump up for breeding and say Heffalump, Rumi, breed. So maybe that will, okay, I think I've actually done something correctly here. We certainly got two. Yeah, there were definitely two children from that. So this is a clone of. Uh, this looks like a clone of Ruminant Witch. 
The size is exactly the same. It's a clone. So that is actually okay. So that's what the cloning thing does, right? Um, this one. Oh, I see. This is a clone of Heffalump. All right. So yeah. All right. So I think that's a pretty good first episode of this. Um, so we've basically seen what the cloning potion does. I just wanted to show what the cloning potion did there. Um, so genetic corruption is going to be something different. And again, with the uh, uh, autogamy, autogamy, I think is more is different again still. But yeah. So basically, when you, you just put the potion on one of them, and then when you when you breed them, uh, it will get you'll get two calves, and there'll be one of, and then there'll be, and they'll both be clones of each. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, each, uh, yeah, I think that's, so 86, 4.7, 4.5.1, yeah, so basically, it doesn't say it, it doesn't, but the really, realistically, that, you know, this, this is just, this is just Heffalump, uh, Heffalump, and this is just, uh, Ruben Atwich, and then I could put that in maybe with some of the other cows we've got here, um, you know, perhaps Gouda or, um, or other men shit. But yeah, um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty uh, good start anyway, just looking, trying to look, get at least a little bit. I think, I think I've, I've shown at least something there. So thanks for watching. Okay, so yeah, there's, um, so in the last episode, what we talked about here was um, that when we do a clone, when we, do, when we use the potion of cloning, right? Um, which one was it? Oh, I, got, I got rid of them all. Yeah, but when we use the potion of cloning, right? Uh, what it means is that uh, when we breed, we breed two cows together. What will happen is that the, there will be two offspring, and one offspring will be like one cow, and one of the other, and the other offspring will be like the other cow, right? So, if we breed together, so what do the other things do? Genetic. Auto autogamy, from what I understand, what it will do is it's, it says it will be like two clones breeding together. So what it will do is it will do like another step. So you have the two clones. So you get it will basically it will be like it will be from what I understand it will be there should be two offspring again, but it will be the the clone of one uh, mating with that with the same clone. So for instance, let's explain that again. So say Gaudermensch um, breeds with Clotty Cream again, yeah? So by using the autogamy, what will happen is uh, it will be it will it will create two offspring. One of the offspring will be uh, Gaudermensch crossed with Gaudermensch, and the other offspring will be a Clotty Cream crossed with Clotty Cream. So yeah, it's basically just like that, just the clones uh, yeah. Uh, what's the cooldown time on it? Breeding cooldown is five minutes. Breeding cooldown is three minutes. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, which was this? So this is a clone of Ruby Nantwich. Okay. Interesting. Uh, can we still do this? Seems to be working. I'm not sure if there's a. Fully grown time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much it actually takes off it. I don't know. I, I guess sometimes you still get the. Uh... There we go. All right, so I just bred together two clones. So Ruby now, but this is Ruby. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the this. See now it's got the inbred modifier because I bred together two clones. So that's pretty bad. So one twenty-two point seven. 150. So interestingly, the, the, the actual, um, 
So this one is actually pretty, uh, it's going to be bigger than almost any other cow that I've got. In fact, it, it, this is now the biggest cow. Okay, but we're interested to see, uh, yeah, movement speed is very low. Then the modifiers, as the drop is much lower, as, oh no. So I'm guessing, I mean, inbred doesn't sound great, does it? So maybe we should just kill the inbred. Mm. I don't know, though. I'm not sure what will happen if that inbred... The thing is, right, I didn't actually say it was going to do that. So maybe what I could do with that is use a genetic corruption. Mm. The thing is, right, I'm just thinking of this comparison to forestry. Like, if you get an ignoble stop, then it will literally die. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, you know, if there's another thing which says genetic decay on it. Uh, what I might do, actually, is these two are probably ready for breeding again. Let's, uh, let's try the autology on these guys. Yeah. Maybe we could breed together with two inbreds, I don't know. So we'll put the automagy on... Uh... See, I'm not sure. Cooldown is five minutes. Has it been five minutes? Uh... I wish there was a way to tell. I guess you can by the speed, because normally they run around fast, don't they, when they can't do it anymore. So I guess I'll put the automaty on here. Oh, they're good. Okay, so we get two, two on here. And these are both, yeah, 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 yeah. So these are both inbred as well. But the question is, is I haven't actually used any of these potions of genetic corruption though, right? So, what that means is, is possibly, if I just put some of the inbred ones with the other inbred ones, um, yeah, the problem is that maybe because they all came from the same stock anyway, that is probably, I should have just done completely different cows and just got them all from completely different places. I don't know if it will register that, you see. This, this is the thing, because I installed this mod after I'd already bred all the cows together. It may just think they're all different cows. I mean, I certainly didn't see any particularly... Because, you see, it may not... It depends if it retroactively tells me that I... I've, it retroactively knows. But, to be honest, I got a pretty... I don't know... The cows did seem pretty mixed, didn't they? I mean, there were some that had... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's it just a lot of different stats. It didn't seem to be almost. Yeah, I mean, some of the. Yeah, I think maybe maybe it will be all right. The, 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 the basically what I mean is that the mod will not say that they're already. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. I think I think I've tried. I think I've explained it fairly well. So, what I would like to do then is. What I mean is that basically this inbred cow here. is not going to be have the same genetics as the other inbred cows. Therefore, if I breed them together, we should get some nice results, right? I think so, anyway. Um, okay, so what we want to do then... is I want to get... I want to get... Just gonna make this platform a little bigger. And we're gonna to try to do the And I noticed also the inbred seem to have a lower they seem to be able to breed quicker.
And that was true for all of them, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. So this inbred over here... There's only one inbred here, because I only just did a... So we've got, actually, let's do... You see, you need to constantly expand the area, I think. There's only, yeah, this is the only inbred here. So breeding cooldown is 2 minutes 18, and again, with the two inbreds here, we're going to want to keep the original ones here, I think. Yeah, you see, this is a three minute. So I, wanna, I wish I had bloody installed this. Uh, isn't there, I think I've got a soul vial. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be a lot easier then if I just do that. So the soul vial is going to be very useful, or, you know, Safari Net or Lassu or whatever. Alright, so we'll put the inbreds in here and we'll try and breed them together. I just breed them together normally, I think. Uh, so let's get a soul vial. Uh, just check we've got the right one. It's uh, one of these two. This guy. I'm hoping this will work okay. Okay, so there's one. Let's just try breeding. We'll just take one of these inbred cows here. Uh, yeah. So basically, what I mean is that these two should not be related, right? So there's two minute. I mean, they've got pretty different stats. Their drop modifier is the same. So maybe they are related. I'm trying to work it out. They're both pretty big cows. Oh, we've got, I've got to see this. No, I don't have to go through a lot of wheat. I just, you can't use the sigil of the green grove on this, can you? I don't know, I'm, uh... Normal mating, please. Let's see what happens here. So you can see already. It... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so that's really good to know. Basically, as long as they're genetically different enough, the child does not have the inbred tag on it. So yeah, so this is what I suspected basically. What I'm trying to say here is that genetic corruption is something else. Gen genetic corruption is going to do something different. It's going to mean that, that it's going to create infertility. Whereas what I just did there is not going to create any infertility. And here we just have a very, uh, uh, a pretty strong cow actually. So yeah, so what I might want to do for instance, is we could get you know I could get one of these I mean these cows are all looking a bit not so great anymore but you see if I pull from this pool here what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to continue it continue uh, improving the genetics on that so let's try uh, just to finish off this thing um, what I'm gonna do is uh, Hello, so welcome back. So we've got um are these two are now inbred. Oh wait, were they Oh yeah yeah yeah. So we had the two inbred if you recall last time what I did I had two inbred and I managed to because they were from different they were different inbred sources, uh this cow now is not inbred, but this has still got all the good stats that I want. That's that were fairly well fairly a decent size and uh yeah, so we'll just get, um, 
One thing I'm curious about there, uh, the cooldown, the breeding cooldown these is pretty nice there. So I might get these to mate again actually. Um, but what I think I'll do this time, uh, in zero one, you see unfortunately I can't, there may actually be something which is not even listed. But I was looking, right, I don't know, maybe some of these are Ender Zoo. Unfortunately, I've got quite a lot of potion and stuff in here. And I think it may be Ender Zoo, actually, now I think about it. Confusion, yeah, that's probably from a concussion creeper or something. But anyway, um, so yeah, what I want to do then is with these two... So this... This one's got some pretty nice stats, but yeah, I just want to, um, I want to try to... Uh, yeah, let's uh, do the genetic corruption on uh, that one. Oh, well, interesting, it didn't seem to do anything. Plus 9.9. .9. You not put genetic corruption on the. I may not have been. Able, I may not have actually done it correctly. Actually, yeah, this you got pretty good as well on this one. Yeah, I think I can't. I can't seem to get the genetic corruption thing to work. Let's go back to um, we got Heifer Lump and I oh know we got Clotty Cream and, and Gather Mint here. Um, we could take a, a different uh, different source here. Could put other mention there maybe. Who do we have here? Gowda. Yeah, maybe we should just take a uh, different one here. Alright. Yeah, I'm, d I'm not sure. I, 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 I seem to not be getting the genetic corruption to work. You may need to put it on. Ah. Uh, I just, I'm pretty sure I just put it on other uh, on uh, other mench. Where did other mench go? No, maybe I didn't. That was interesting, wasn't it? One of these, yeah. This, this, this is the. I think this was the child that was just born. So that is a massive child. Let's see if I can find. I've lost it now. There. So it was, it was 130 percent. I guess I'm just trying to make the biggest one at this point. Where did it go? It's not this guy. I think I know which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's this guy in the corner here. Yep. Oh, did I get it? 
No. Can we just deposit this one here? It's this one. There we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if it was. I mean, it, it's well, maybe I did manage to get it. That seemed like quite a shift, but it may just be that I can't see. All right, so I want to start removing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that 130 percent. Let's just find the biggest cow that I can. I could just take the 120.5 because it's got no input. Let's use this guy and we'll get rid of all the others. This in the holding pen here. I mean, that cat does look massive though. We got. So we got our. Where's the hundred? Let's just start removing some of the smaller cows. So one, two, two. Okay, this guy's obviously not for the size yet. Right. I think I think the last. Okay, yeah, that's a massive cow now. All right, so that's pretty good. So we can say that these. So yeah, let's um. Again, let's take this out. Unfortunately, probably the overall size of this, the gene pool is not that big now. So yeah, so now we've got this 130% uh, 120.5% uh. This guy is how big? Oh, he's pretty big as well. Let's just see what happens when we, when we breed these. Two. Um... Yeah, I could clone them. Let me just breed them. I think I'm just going to breed them here. Yeah, you see, it's not, it's not a huge size. So that isn't really the way to do it there. Hmm.